All right, man. What do you think? I love it. I'm just seeing if it can fit. This isn't like the sturdiest uh, easel that I have, but uh, it does fit. I just don't want it to fall down. How did this happen? <sighs> Let's back up. Before all of this nonsense over here, my friend Tom asked me to paint an abstract painting for him in the style of Robert Motherwell. Who's Robert Motherwell, you might ask? I asked the same question. Basically, I did what anybody would do. I looked it up on Wikipedia. And honestly, I was really impressed with the way that Motherwell painted because most of the stuff that I paint is usually realistic. I don't really have a lot of experience with abstract painting and I kind of have some preconceived notions about what abstract painting is. But one of the things I was really attracted to Motherwell's style was that even though his paintings are abstract, in a lot of ways they're very representative of an idea. He wrote uh, the lyric suite, uh, pieces that were inspired by music. He has a whole series of paintings that are inspired by the Spanish Civil War and a bunch of pieces that are inspired by the ocean. And I think that to me that really appealed to me in that you can encapsulate an idea or make your abstract painting about an idea, about a feeling, about an emotion, about a specific thing, and that there's still that element of representation there. Um, I'm kind of nervous. I've never painted an abstract this large before, and obviously it's a commission, so I want it to turn out good. I'm also using a brand new type of paint. So the first step is going to be to stain the whole canvas in this Titan buff, so we'll give it a go. After talking with Tom uh, about sort of the color scheme and the ideas that he wanted conveyed in the painting, um, I did a bunch of mock-ups in Photoshop to try to come up with an idea of what might work for him in his space before we actually committed to painting on the huge canvas. All right, so uh, I finished it. Um, at least this first layer, I'll show you. You know, it's not exactly all just one solid color, but that there's these striations of color within it. So that I think, you know, it's it's a good base layer that it has like some texture and stuff. I also painted the sides and stained the sides and the top and everything. Now, I did these different sketches and things based off of this idea that I had in my head of a semi-closed fist and really if you look at a closed fist, you get these sort of patterns of dark and light, patterns of shadow. And I also think that the fist is emblematic. And so I was really attracted to a half closed fist because the question is, is the fist sort of closing in anger? Is it closing in strength? Is it closing in violence? Or is it opening? Is it opening in a plea for help? Is the hand about to extend to say, I want to hold your hand, you know, I want, I want solidarity. So when you did it, like, was it more like, did you feel like it was a bit more free form? Do you feel like it, uh, like... So I, I was kind of, that's a really good question. Cause I was kind of going back and forth between using my phone and like looking at it to like, make sure like, you know, like, okay, this line kind of hits about halfway and like making sure like the placement of the gestures were in the right spot. But then like when it came to like applying the paint, then I was like trying to be more like emotional with it and like thinking about like where do I want to be more delicate and where did I want to be more forceful and yeah and stuff like that so like, I, I feel like it was kind of like the best of both worlds. All right so it's taken me uh, quite a while to get this color mixed up but uh, I think I have I think I've got something here I think about something here that could work so uh, now that I've mixed this color up we're uh, we're gonna go for it. The hardest part was this because you're you were right that yellow ochre was like way too bright and so i like mixed up a bunch of like trying to get like a good color with acrylics like you know like these are pure pigments so like i could like put pigment out and then it would dry and then i would squirt more out and i could just keep going but because this is like a mixed color like that happened where I'm like, oh crap, I'm out of paint. And then I have to like mix up more and it's not like 100% the exact same tone. But I actually like that. Like I feel like it there's has. life into it. Yeah. yeah, and I did that for the background too. Like I was painting it and then I was like, you know, I don't, 
necessarily like this being like one full complete flat color you know and so that's where um i kind of like enlivened it up a little bit with uh i i would put in like a little bit of other colors in there and stuff mm -hmm. to like make it have yeah more life to it so. and that's what i like about it it's like especially like right here you can see it's like yeah different colors right or like just like it and those like transparent yeah yeah i like that a lot cool Real quick, if you guys are getting anything out of this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out. Also, check out my new album, Montana. A few videos back, I showed how I painted the album artwork for this new album. It's got three songs that talk about love and family and loss. And uh, you can check it out on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever music is carried. All right, stay tuned for the rest of the painting. All right, here's the finished piece. Um, I had to put in several coats of this white here and here to get it to like adequately cover up the black, but I'm really glad that I did. I think I think it looks really good. I love the stark contrast and um, I really enjoyed making this piece. I hope Tom likes it. All right, man. What do you think? Love it. I, uh, I really like the white. On the black, on the black. I do too. Like the stark contrast. I love, I love the flow of it. Like how it, it arches this way. Yeah. I like that a lot. I love your like brush strokes too. Yeah, I tried to leave some of them in. Yeah, I think that's great. I love that. Thanks, man. That's so cool. I like this a lot too. Like the, like yeah, like the I was like too. on the fence of that, but then I like how there's kind of like a, a polarity between that and this, you know? Yeah, and that's what I like about it. It's like, especially like right here, you can see it's like yeah. different colors. Right. Or like, just like it And those like transparent. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. Cool. Yeah, I just love the, how it bends. Yeah. And then also this like, I don't know, just kind of like, light in the darkness type feel and right it feels good i like it a lot and that's i had talked to the camera a little bit but like talking about how you know i spent a long time like looking at a half closed fist you know and thinking about like is the fist closed or is the fist open you know mm -hmm. and i think there's sort of like a meditation in that and then that's sort of what inspired the lines and the shapes and like the highlights and like the knuckles and the thumbs and like when you hold out a fist you know there's darkness and there's light and i don't know so i was kind of inspired by that whole idea as well and for me for this it's always reminded me of like almost like somebody having something like overbearing on their back like a load on them yeah, yeah. and then to me this was kind of like a light shining through yeah it's almost kind of has like a tree feel like this is like a branch coming off a trunk mm -hmm. and like it's like something that's just like shining all the way through right that's cool that's awesome i really enjoyed doing this painting i think i definitely want to do more abstract paintings in the future um, and I love this idea of connecting our idea of representation with the idea of just purely emoting and thinking about design in of itself. I was just able to think about portraying the elements of design, of shape, of line, of color, of texture, all of those things went into it. Plus sort of just the pure emotive side of trying to emote and throw down this idea that I had, the duality. Of, oh, check this out man there's a sweet cardinal anyways it was a really rewarding experience i think for those of you who uh, paint realistically i would recommend trying it try some come up with an idea a feeling an emotion if you don't even know you know just go for it and, and doodle and see what comes out of it but to me it was a really rewarding experience i think i'm going to experiment with it more thanks so much for watching guys if you want to check out my last video where i teamed up with tez dower to do 10 tips for plein air painting click on this video here you can also check out this playlist here for more art videos remember you have a voice that matters go be creative Express yourself, use your voice for good. I'll see you next time.